Okay, coaches, so today we have a drill working on bigger acro elements on the beam. We're gonna go from pretty basic to stuff that's a little more advanced. As you can see, I've taken out the mats at the end um, because we want to get them to feel the feel of doing things on the beam without being scared of the landing. So I've recreated the feel of a beam in terms of instead of just piling up crash mats where when they land, it's bad on their wrists and also, uh, can not really give the feeling of landing on a harder surface. So I've put uh, four boxes um, underneath and then just a sting mat on top, just to cushion some of the impact. Um, so there's a couple options here. So we're gonna start with the cartwheel. So Kayla, if you could come down to the end of the beam. And what Kayla's gonna do is she's gonna start, she's gonna stretch tall, she's gonna do everything like she always does, except now she doesn't have to worry so much about landing her feet on the beam. We've drawn a line on the mat. She's gonna put her hands on the beam to get the feel of it, but not have to worry about the landing. Go ahead, Kay. And chest up. So now she's got, so Kayla would hold that landing nice and strong. And then um, we can also then work into bigger skills. So for example, a back walkover, they can start with their feet on the beam, stretch tall, and then especially for those that feel a lot of fear about going back onto their hands, then they can get used to the feel of this, even if they don't have the flexibility right away. So getting used to doing things off of that one foot on the beam. So go ahead, Kay. So she goes back, stretch. She goes over, keep those legs straight. Okay, and then you can up the difficulty by now getting them, they're comfortable, they're doing good, they're landing on the line pretty consistently. Now Shannon's gonna go and she's gonna show you how she puts her hands on the beam and then lands on the mat. So now you're taking it one step further. So she does her three, her stretch, squeeze, and lift, and lands right on that line. Good job, Deb, do you wanna show us that one as well? And what this does is it helps build confidence so when you ask them to do it on the beam, it's not like they've never done it before, they've only done it on the floor. Um, so this way they're getting used to doing the element on the beam, but take adding one step each time. Devin, watch those hips, okay? So then when you actually ask them, Devin, go back onto the beam, to put it the whole thing onto the beam, it's gonna be a lot easier because they've done the first two parts of this. So they do their stretch, squeeze, and lift. And land, oh, Devin, go again. You're twisting your hips, okay? Think about the, the turning out of the hip, not turning in. Arms up, good, nice job. And then you can even take it to really big elements. So you can do it um, with back handspring step outs on beam, starting with their feet, doing the nice stretch. And this lets, gives them a good chance to work on getting their hands closer and closer to the line. But again, not having to worry about landing on the actual beam. So working the elements, working the push off of a hard surface. Try again, Dev, push up high. A little higher than that up and step it out arms up good and so this really lets them get the feel of being on the beam pushing through the beam because you get a lot of kids that don't know how to push up off that beam if they've only worked on the gummy beams so it's a really easy setup something easy to set up and uh, give it a try and see how it goes good luck